In this video, we're gonna be sharing with you our worst fishing experience yet. Don't get us wrong, the holiday did start off pretty well. We decided that we were gonna go off to one of our season ticket lakes that we have. Haven't really done many sessions on there, but until recently, Callan and myself have really been putting in some hard work into these lakes. We've done a couple of sessions now. Callan lost three bites on one session, one of them definitely being a potential PB for him. So that was quite disappointing. I lost a bite as well, because I was doing overnighters after work, going to work the next morning. But until recently, Callan and myself have really been putting in some serious effort into these lakes because it sort of like teased us. The two fish that we caught were small fish, but we know what's in there and we really want to get one of those ones out. So we're going to continue to put this work in and hopefully our efforts will be rewarded for it. And we've got some underwater footage as well. So we've seen them feeding. We know they're around. We just got to keep trying and yeah, it was good, but ever since then, it just went downhill and we were on our next stop to Bude. So I've come to a place that has resembled the rest of the holiday, basically. So we're in Bude now and we're pretty happy because we just caught a fish, well, Danny had and we'd had quite a nice comfortable time. And we get to Bude and it's very sunny, which is obviously a good sign, but we get the rods out and instantly are met with kayakers, canoers, people that are literally driving a car shaped pedalo, which is ridiculous. And it was going all over our lines. Danny had literally a maybe five canoers all in front of her and just splashing splashing around i know they're having fun and all but cuts her line up and it's just yeah it's an absolute mission so that happened and many many more things that i go into detail with in the video oh yeah Oh, there's a cable to that as well. We're going to Bude and other places around the south of England. Doing some sea fishing, doing some surfing, and most of all, doing some chilling. Oh, on our way Finally. to Bude. Cannot wait. A little bit late, hey? A little bit late <laughs> than what we expect. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 12 o'clock. That <laughs> we is were like, so yeah, bad. We'll be there by 6 a.m. <laughs> We've changed plans as well. We was actually we were, uh, meant to be going to a place called Lady Bay, um, but we're going to do that on the end of our trip now because uh, it's not good weather. So no, it's do a worse. do a fat drive now three hour drive to Bude and do some cart fishing tomorrow I've got the brolly in the old roof box needed uh, it's needed because we've got I've a lot got of fishing a rain jacket. Gear. I have got a rain jacket in the back good I've got a rain jacket and yeah we are gonna go to Bude instead have a scout about on the canal see what's going on and tomorrow we will start our fishing journey in Bude We've made it to Bude. We have made it in one piece. One piece, we have done it. We are gonna go scout the canal out, maybe have a drink at a pub, potentially. And yeah, see where we are camping out tonight. So, should be good. So it's the next day now, and yeah, we still haven't caught anything. We're gonna tr give it one more try for a couple of hours until we go sea fishing a bit later on in Padstow. Um, I'm hoping we can get one. Yesterday was just a complete failure. So today, we've got the same tactics that we were using yesterday, but the sun is a bit hotter, I'd say, than yesterday, wasn't it? It's pretty sharp today. It's pretty sharp, it's pretty boiling it's actually. It's burning me through my pants. 
but hopefully we can get one and it should be a successful it sounds day. like less people as well today mm, so i think it's because they right were the yet. ones that destroyed our opportunity yesterday yeah So we're sitting here on the View Canal and the only positive I have right now is that the sun is shining. It's been a shit show from the start. The issue is there's so much traffic on the water. There's massive looking cars that go on the water, like pedalo things, kayaks, canoes, wiping the hell out of your lines. Danny's just had one now, absolutely obliterate the line. Another thing that's happened recently is I've just fallen over and smashed my phone absolutely destroyed it the camera battery on the bottom that's come out and it's really hard to then get the camera to actually work so it's just been really difficult the entire time so many people and i've lost the carp as well which we didn't get on camera so yeah i think we're going to give this a rest and say it's beating it beaten us and go sea fishing instead <sighs> It's beating me. I think it's beating us, isn't it? We then wet our mattress. Danny, being the clever soul she is, didn't tighten up the water bottle enough and it spilled everywhere onto our mattress. So we were basically swimming whilst we were sleeping. What else happened? There were so many things that happened in that holiday that just were so hard to overcome. She hurt her foot. And I also destroyed hay fever. No, hay fever destroyed me, actually. Uh, on the last day, Danny cooked up this amazing banquet seafood thing on the beach, and I couldn't even taste any of it. So we came home early, and yeah, that was basically our trip. It was a disaster. So that literally sums up our week from hell but we're not going to let it affect us because from next week the river opens and it's one of my favorites it's one of Callan's favorites and we just can't wait now we got a couple of goals we want to tick off I know Callan wants his two pound perch I would love a two pound perch and I know he definitely wants to continue on the hunt for that over 20 pike which will be I think we got a few spots in mind to get that get that goal. We've taken a walk around our river recently just over the last couple of days just to see what we have in store for us but as you can see behind me it's pretty overgrown and I think it's only going to get worse the more we go into the summer season but we're not too worried because we've seen plenty signs of fish around here we just got to find the spots or just sort of make spots for us <laughs> basically but that sums it up hope you guys did enjoy there should be some more videos on screen for you guys to watch and enjoy stay tuned because there's going to be plenty more to come